Held in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic without spectators, the Tokyo Olympics was an Olympics unlike any other. Going into the games, polls showed 60 to 80 percent of Japanese were opposed to the event. But on the day of the closing ceremony, many people in Tokyo couldn't resist gathering outside the stadium. I think it's better that they held the games rather than not, even though there was opposition about how much COVID would spread and all that. This is my second Olympics. I saw it the first time it was in Tokyo, so I really wanted to see it a second time. I'm against the games. When I watch them, I find them very exciting. But you can see COVID is spreading faster and faster. So it makes me wonder. Even then, I've come here to see it, especially as today is the closing ceremony. With spectators banned and public viewings cancelled, watching from the streets was, for many, the only way to mark the moment. People have turned out in force outside the stadium to take photos and commemorate this historic day. But feelings on the ground are mixed. While many are proud of just how well Japanese athletes have performed, they are also concerned about the rise in coronavirus cases. Japan had its best ever Olympic Games, winning 27 gold medals. This success has helped to win over the public. But the number of new coronavirus cases nationwide hit a record high during the tournament, and Tokyo is by far the worst affected area. The government and organizers have strongly denied any link, with only 0.02% of games-related people testing positive during screening tests from July the 1st. But health experts say the public has received mixed messages about staying home. Now, as excitement is cooling, questions are also being asked about the costs. Banning spectators alone is thought to have led to a loss of almost $820 million, and it's unclear who will have to pick up the bill. Just looking at the loss from ticket sales, who is going to bear the costs? The Tokyo Metropolitan Government? Or will the central government give out some money from taxes? Including additional coronavirus measures, who will shoulder the cost and to what extent? The government has been continuously postponing that decision. They're not touching on that topic at all. According to an Oxford University study, the cost of Tokyo 2020 had already overrun by 200 percent before the additional costs from a one-year postponement were included. The official price tag is currently around $15.4 billion, but many expect it to add up to more. There is a saying in Japanese, after the festival. Currently, there's still wild enthusiasm, but once the Paralympics are over, there will be questions about how much the games have cost, how much the coronavirus has spread, and there will be an increasing number of voters who find this situation contradictory and who come to resent the games and get angry. That's why the government is trying to cover up everything as much as possible. There are concerns that the experience could have a lasting impact on people's attitudes toward the Olympics going forward. Japan has many people with a strong interest in the Olympics, and when the games kick off, the atmosphere gets really lively. But this time, the games were pushed through despite anxiety over the coronavirus, and neither the government nor the IOC listened to the voices of the people, so I imagine some will turn away from the Olympics. As the pandemic continues, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics may go down in history for the circumstances in which they were held, rather than the sporting achievements. Phoebe Amoroso, CGTN, Tokyo.